Um, I got involved in murals um, with a cow's project. Sonoma Valley had a, a project where you actually painted a cow that was a life-size fiberglass cow and I um, painted one of those and um, the coordinators of the cow project um, wanted to know if I was interested in working with a group of students and painting um, mural panels by the Sonoma Valley Inn. So that's how that started and uh, painted the panels of these 4x8 panels, 13 of them, and submitted these designs to Presida Eyes Muralist Association and actually won the um, award for 2004 Youth Muralist. From there I worked at Flowery School. I did um, all the classes. I taught, um, I was their artist in resident at Flowery School for a number of years and I painted a mural in their hallway. So that was my first large mural, school-wide school mural where every kid paints on the mural in the school. There's two ways to do this. One of the ways you could work inside the classroom and get designs from kids. For instance, my favorite book. Kids gave all their favorite books. Each class had their favorite books. So we have anybody from um, The Little Engine That Could to Harry Potter on the mural. So that, I get all these drawings, you know, just so the kids feel like they're designing the mural. It has to have a good flow to it. And that was two walls, eight feet by 28 feet. And so after that, I have the California History Music uh, mural, which starts with the Pomo Indians and ends. One wall is um, uh, from Luther Burbank to farm workers. And um, so it's California history and agriculture. Then we did the science mural. And the last mural, the big, the big guy, 600 square feet of um, It Takes a Village. And the, the principal, Ms. Maite Aturi, you know, had this vision of thanking people that come to the school. You know, and it does take a village to raise kids. So she gave me a list, like, you know, 20 names long, um, and community members, Plain Air Foundation, Mentoring Alliance, parents, um, the Vadez Foundation, anybody that has ever helped at El Verano. How to get all of this on two walls, um, 13 feet high by 30. And I put it on this, um, the grid. So I have to have like one inch to one foot design to, um, so that we can have a nice grid. My husband, Help me do the, make the grid. He and I had an uh, after school group of kids, about 12 kids that have been with me all year long after school class. And we, you know, drew the designs on the wall. Um, the grid um, has like squares, and then I gave the kids a piece of paper from a section of the mural, and they took chalk and drew the design from the little squares and put them on the wall. And it really, it turned out great. And then I get a schedule going. And I start with the kindergartners. So there was five kindergarten classes at El Verano this year. And the kids get to paint the background. So um, one side, we had the outdoor side and the indoor side of the mural. The outdoor side, we have like all green paints. Five different colors of green paints. And we got five, I take five kids at a time. Five little brushes, the little kids paint, you know, paint outside the lines instead of inside the lines. So they get the little kids out and they paint and that's it. Then the other side was blue. So all the little kinders and all the little first grades, another five classes of five and six year olds painting on the mural. And it was so cute. And there's a bench, also another challenge, there was a bench going directly across. We've got little kids laying on the ground, painting under the bench, that were good. And the taller parts were painted by a group of um, young adults and um, teenagers. And I had a wonderful girl, Ava, working with me on her senior project. So I've, I've got all kinds of things going on. Saturdays, I'm working with teenagers, 
and young adults and school days and working with kids. So we got all the background done, then we have um, the clothing and flowers and bugs and birds and ladybugs and butterflies. So, you know, if I, I spot a kid during the school year, oh, that kid can draw, well, that one might paint a butterfly. The other ones that are just like, they're, they love to paint, but maybe they're not as skilled, they can paint a pair of jeans, you know. So that is, and then I go in, so it's um, second, third, uh, fourth, they're doing more details. And then you run out of stuff for some kids to do, you put details on the clothes. And I just let the kids, you know, look at this plain dress, put a, put a design on the dress. Decorate the shoes, decorate the socks. So the kids are, you know, it's their design. It's my design, but they're the ones who really paint. Then fifth grade, fourth and fifth, I look for those, you know, kids that actually can draw a face, or my after school group, and they're the ones doing, like, the portraits. For the people that are um, more like Dick Leland or the Vadez people who have just given 100% of their life to this school, we, you want them to look really good. Or a Zem, the janitor, you know, you want it to look like a Zem. So we have the teenagers and the young adults and I actually painted our principal to look like Mona Lisa. And at the end, you know, we had a huge celebration and it was fabulous. So that's the great fabulous mural at El Verano.